Okay, we are now going to talk about Salesforce Connect. What is Salesforce Connect? So Salesforce Connect is a function or a feature in Salesforce to connect with other platforms. Well, what do you mean other platform, Jimmy? Like for example, here, perhaps you have data that is stored on premises in an enterprise resource planning system. What is on premises? In the office building, not on Salesforce cloud. So for example, you work on, on a huge organization. Let's pretend we are working at Amazon, amazon.com. Let's pretend Amazon.com runs on Salesforce, okay? Let's just browse even to Amazon here. Whoops, Amazon.ca, because I'm in Canada. Here, let's pretend this is on Salesforce. So when we buy stuff, like for example, we want to buy this one. Pretend we want to buy Echo Dot, right, from Amazon. So we buy it at the cart. This is all Salesforce. It creates an opportunity. Once we pay, it's um, going to mark the opportunity as closed one because they have the money. Now they have to ship the product, right? Well, I bet you Amazon's warehouses, the fully automated huge Amazon warehouses are not running on the same platform as their website here. They have a fully independent um, delivery system. Like, let's take a look. For example, Amazon Warehouse, even on video. See this kind of stuff um, that you can see behind the scenes of Amazon Warehouse. Now we have an ad, look at that. Um, <laughs> skip. So anyways, all these warehouses, this automation you see here, right? Look at that. 59 football fields. And you can see how, how, how the whole system works. So this particular uh, warehouses say they are not on Salesforce, but this website, let's pretend they are on Salesforce. So now when the customer calls, right? calls to Amazon, for example, hey, what is my order? What is my order? Is it shipped or not shipped yet? So pretend the actual website is on Salesforce, but how do we know if it's shipped or not shipped? It's not already on the shipping warehouse system, which is running on another platform. Let's say it's called Amazon Warehouse Platform, right? Now we want to make sure the customer reps are able to answer the question if they call on Amazon and wants to know uh, what is my order? Is it shipped or yet uh, or not yet? So what is the status of my order? Um, and so on and so forth. So this kind of scenario requires uh, further integration for Salesforce to be able to read other platforms data. I hope that makes sense. So with Salesforce Connect, you can connect Salesforce, say to another platform, for example, Amazon Warehouse platform, and see if the order is shipped or not yet shipped. Or even a more real example, you are using your own um, postal shipping system, or for example, you are using FedEx or UPS or DHL, or you are using Canada Post or USPS. Now you ship something, but you don't know where it is. You want to track the package, right? Where is it, right? Is it shipped? Is it on route? W where is it? Now the customer wants to know, for example. Now you can, with Salesforce Connect, connect Salesforce to be able to query, you know, that other platform and, and then display to the customer, oh, this is your tracking code and your package is on route or it's being delivered tomorrow and so on and so forth. So basically that's the intention of, of having a Salesforce Connect feature. So Salesforce can talk with other platform, for example, a shipping platform or a warehouse system 
or other ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, and any kind of platform to get data and read data and display it. Here's an example. So we have an account. Uh, we have a business partner here, right? And then here is pulling an account from Salesforce, their account with us, and the sales order, which is pulling from another system. So you can do that. So it's combining data from Salesforce and from another platform. So now the customer reps or the sales rep can see all information in one place without having to log into another platform and then trying to find us the order or the, yeah, you know what I mean, right? So it's all in one place. They can see it with their eyeball and then say to the customer, oh, it's um, shipped or oh, it's, it's still being developed or whatever that is, okay? So how can you connect? You can use OData to um, adapter or cross org adapter and custom adapter created for Apex. And one very important note, Salesforce Connect is not free and it's not cheap. Now ask me, how do I know it? <laughs> because we want to apply cross-platform connectivity, but it is not cheap. So to ever consider using this um, feature, you would have to be to get an approval from your executive management, spending tons of money to have this um, connectivity opened up for your org. Otherwise, you can't use it. You can play around with it on Trailhead Playground, but if you have an enterprise license and you want Salesforce Connect, it's not cheap. Though that's a side note, okay? It's pretty expensive. Okay, now quiz. Which of these statements is true for Salesforce Connect? No external data is important, right? Because we can read the data in real time from the other platform. External data is read in real time. There we go. It can be used um, with any data source that supports OData 2.0. This is how we connect to the other platform, all right? So all of the above. Which of these is not an appropriate use case for Salesforce Connect? You need to set up workflow and triggers because it is not supported. Salesforce Connect or external objects does not support here workflows or triggers yet. Okay. So in which of this scenario ETL, ETL is better choice than Salesforce Connect? Um, you need external data to flow uh, to follow the sharing rules. Yes, you want to generate reports and charts. Then you have to use ETL, you, meaning you have to um, import the data into Salesforce. Here you can read about ETL on here. Um, here, ETL. Okay, um, uh, ETL is transform load. Export transform load. You export the data. From the other plus platform, you transform it, play around with the data, make it suitable for importing into Salesforce, and then you load it up into Salesforce. That's called ETL. It's a bit of a lengthy process, but it's way more integrated. Once you bring it into Salesforce, right, you can report on it and do anything that you do with Salesforce. So which of these is not true about external objects? You can use them in formula field. You cannot use them, so it's not true, right? So there we have it. I'll see you on the next section. Bada bing, bada boom. <gasps> we got one. Oh, tricky, tricky. Um, I think it is better choice than Salesforce Connect. It's better when you need to follow sharing rules. Boom. So let me explain that because actually reports are supported, but oh, I can't see the questions anymore, but it's limited. So that's maybe the trick question because reports here is supported, but it's limited. You can't do much with it, but well, there you have it. I'll see you on the next section. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video,
and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.